I think public funding is needed to have a glue between the, the companies who want to work together. If you only want to funding, fund projects which are otherwise would not take place. We would not want to fund something which the industry would do anyway. That would make no sense. But cross-border research is not always so evident because people like to stay in their own corners. They don't have these contacts. And if you make money available, you have kind of the carrot, which would give you the, uh, ch the challenge and also the, uh, the opportunity to work cross-border. And that would then have the result that you get critical mass in Europe, the best brains together, and we help uh, with our money to get these best brains together and to have something uh, done on the European level. I think for us, the, if you look back a couple of years, we were always very good in research. Europe is very good in research and it's, it's reflected also in patents. But it's not always reaching the industrial production in Europe. Sometimes it reaches the industrial production, but it is elsewhere in the world. Sometimes it doesn't reach the industrial production at all. So we would like to bring uh, research into innovation, into the industrial reality. That is, I think, the, the big new thing we want to achieve. And we must admit, we are not so good at that. I think there we, we have been, there's room for improvement if we look into what we have done in the past. Now, how do we want to do it? The objective is to get more industry into the project because the industry, what they should do, they should uh, uh, participate in the project and then our expectation is that that would lead also to more uptake by these same industries. And this is why we have created public-private partnerships, this is why we have now the, uh, uh, this declaration and the industries who have signed this declaration here in, in Aarhus, because we would like them not only to say, yes, we want your money, but also to say, we would like to work together. And once we have a result, we, with our own industrial money, we will make it, use it for our next generation of products. So that we do not stop after research, created fantastic knowledge, end of the story. No, we create the knowledge. This is co-funded by the public. And then afterwards, the industry takes this, uh, this results up and brings it into the next step with their own money, not with our money anymore, because that would then be too near to the market. And then they would really do it. And this is why we have from day one the industry involved, because then we expect with this industrial involvement, we would have the industry in the research and then later on also in the implementation. I think, first of all, it was a fantastic, or it is a fantastic location here in, in Aarhus. Apart from the first day, we were very lucky with the weather, so the sun was shining, so everybody was apparently in agreement with this conference, even the, even the heaven was, was, was on our side. Um, but honestly speaking, uh, or seriously speaking, what is, what is the added value? I think what is necessary, and this was brought by this conference and by the Danish presidency, was the situation that they said we do not want to have a conference on nanotechnologies or we want a conference on materials or we want to have a, have a conference on, on production. No, we want to have a conference on all the three of them because if you have a material it's very nice but what happens then afterwards? Can you put this material into a, a, a product? Can you produce this material? Um, what about nanotechnologies? It's good to have nano, but it has to go into the, into the production. I think we have to converge all these industries in order to have, or not, not these industries, we have to converge all these technologies in order to make it really happen. Because an in a technology standalone doesn't bring you very far. Take an example materials. There is composite materials which is much lighter than metal. So if you have a, a composite material which you could, uh, could produce, very good. But now you want to bring it into your car. And this is good because it is lighter and then you would consume less uh, CO2 and you less, uh, also less uh, petrol with your car. So that's a good idea. But then you also have to have the manufacturing technology to bring this composite together with the metallic structures. You have to be able to repair it afterwards. So it's a lot of questions which go beyond the pure availability of this material. You have to produce it afterwards with other materials. You have to be able to repair it. You have to bring it into the 
product car, for example. And this is something which we do in these conferences when we bring all the different people from the different areas together. And we have not only the material scientist who is perhaps very proud of his new material, but he talks to the guy from the manufacturing and says, okay, how can we do it? How is it fitting together? How can we make sure that your material goes into a real product?